One other big ticket item uh, that's on tap for the Expedition 33 crew this week uh, is the unique uh, deployment of a series of small satellites called CubeSats out of the uh, airlock in the Kibo module, the Japanese experiment module that is located attached uh, to the uh, U.S. segment of the International Space Station. The way this will work is uh, the satellites will be grappled uh, off of a tilt table. Uh, the uh, airlock table that will uh, basically uh, eject uh, the satellite uh, deployer uh, off of uh, the airlock of the Japanese Kibo module then will be grappled by the small fine arm at the end of the uh, Japanese uh, robotic uh, manipulator system. Uh, that uh, GEM RMS, as it is called, uh, will be uh, maneuvered in place where a deployment mechanism will be used uh, to eject the satellites in two different windows. This small fine arm attachment mechanism uh, essentially is an extension of the end of the uh, robotic arm out of the Kibo module. A series of three satellites will be deployed uh, in the uh, third, in the second of two deploy windows that are available, uh, and. Uh, Two satellites will be uh, deployed out of the first window. Those satellites will be deployed uh, in, a, uh, in a trajectory that will carry it away from the velocity vector or the direction of travel of the International Space Station so that there's no chance of uh, recontact, nor will it uh, pose any interference uh, for the rendezvous and uh, grapple and berthing of the Dragon spacecraft next week following its launch from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The five satellites uh, that are in play for this uh, unique uh, deployment that is scheduled for Thursday, October 4th, on, uh, ironically, the 55th anniversary of the Russians launching of the Sputnik 1 satellite, the first artificial satellite to orbit the Earth. The first um, deployment uh, window will open up at about 9.30 a.m. Central Time, 10.30 Eastern Time. The two satellites on tap, uh, constrained by orbital daylight and uh, the uh, ability for communications through the U.S. Uh, KU band communications system. Uh, Aki Hoshide will be uh, operating from the uh, Japanese robotics workstation in the Kibo module uh, to uh, deploy the WeWish satellite that is uh, from the Maisai Electric Company. It is a satellite of 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Uh, it uh, has the mission objectives of uh, providing a technical demonstration of a microheat infrared camera. It has limited attitude control, but the WeWish satellite uh, will be the first of uh, the first pair of satellites to be deployed in the first of two deployment windows for the Japanese small satellite deployments on tap on Thursday. The WeWish satellite will be followed uh, quickly by the Raiko satellite from Wakayama University in Japan. Uh, it measures 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Uh, it has the mission objective of measuring uh, the relative movement between a, the satellite itself and the International Space Station. Uh, also has a deorbit experiment uh, through a film deployment mechanism that will provide data for Japanese investigators back on Earth. Once those two satellites are deployed, the second of the two windows is scheduled about an hour later at uh, 10.35 a.m. Central Time, 11.35 a.m. Eastern Time. That will be a trio of satellites led by the TechEd Sat, uh, an investigation by San Jose University, San Jose State University in California, measuring 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters with a mission objective of demonstrating a plug and play hardware and new communications hardware capability as it uh, orbits the Earth for its finite lifetime in orbit. Next up will be the NanoRax CubeSat from uh, a private in information technology unit University located in uh, Hanoi, Vietnam, uh, called FPT University. It measures 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And the NanoRax satellite uh, finally is followed in turn by the FITSAT uh, from uh, Fukuoka Institute of Technology in Japan. Uh, it uh, also 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters uh, to provide a technical demonstration of a 5.8 gigahertz high speed transmitter and a test of the possibility of optical communication with the crew on board the International Space Station.
Uh, Sonny Williams and uh, Yuri Malenchenko will be uh, in the Cupola workstation uh, acquiring uh, both video and still photography of the two deployments that will be uh, operated by uh, flight engineer Aki Hoshide of the Japan Aerospace uh, Exploration Agency, who again will be uh, operating from the uh, Japanese robotics workstation in the Japanese Kibo module. All of that again on tap uh, for Thursday morning, October 4th, which again is ironically the 55th anniversary of the Russians launching of the first artificial satellite uh, to orbit the Earth. Sputnik 1, which was deployed, uh, which was launched uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan back on October 4th, 1957.